All right, people, what's up, everyone? And welcome to another reaction video. And I'm here to take a look at a new featurette for Werewolf by Night, which comes out in a few days, actually. I will be, I think, actually a week. It might be exactly a week, uh, which I will be watching. I've heard really good things. I think there might be reviews out, so I, I should probably do a first reviews. But, um, yeah, so this is uh, coming out very soon. I think a week. I want to say October 7th. It'll probably say in this. Uh, but this is a featurette. This is the monstrous new side, it's called. Gal Garcia Bernal. Love that guy. Um, he was just an old, one of my favorite movies ever. So, there's a helicopter. You hear that? Can you hear it? Anyway, turn your speakers up right now. Don't worry, I won't scream. It's gone now. Anyway, so let's get to it. Werewolf by Night. This is a special presentation. Hey, uh, even if this wasn't good, I would like to see Marvel do more things like this. Just short movies. I'm assuming it's going to be like an hour long, this thing. I've heard it's supposed to be short. So, um, let's get to it. Let's take a look at this featurette, baby. It's directed by Michael Giacchino. Which, or is it Kino? Kino. He is Kino. Um, I've heard Giacchino. Uh, 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 cappuccino, whatever. Fuck. Let's go. Three, two, one, play. Thank you for gathering in ritual. Werewolf what? is just a oh, okay. giant mashup love letter to all of these old movies, which I absolutely loved and lived on growing up. His directing is crazy. It's actually. something brand new that we've never seen in this universe before. We wanted to explore entirely new characters and entirely new sides I of the MCU with so this far. unusual, fun, and frightening spin on the supernatural. I hope it goes eyes wide shut out. I love Lord. monster movies because they're such allegories for feeling different from everyone else. With Michael Giacchino, you know, directing and composing, Giacchino. we get to lean into the style of the monster movies. I like Giacchino, but it's one of the greatest better. film composers. Taking a step in the director's chair, that's where the excitement and uniqueness know. comes from. That's weird. I love it. Oh, there you go. Some of the scariest things I saw as a kid were just the shadows of things. They're going to do that a lot good. I love that. That's why Jaws is so good. I mean, for the, us, that was the goal. I mean, the shark was a the malfunction piece of shit. That's that's really why you don't see it that much. It's wonderful. There's a lot of risk, you know, in the best way. We're introducing a world that will ultimately become Wait, his name's quite Jack important Russell? to the future of the MCU. Really? It's time to like put something different out into the world. It's gonna be so cool. Okay, <laughs> yeah. I could do the dog. Yeah, October 7th. I wonder if this is gonna be is this gonna be PG thirteen or is it gonna be an M rated thing? I I thought we saw the trailer and didn't have a little bit of blood. I mean it's all gonna be black and white, so I guess they could show a good amount of blood if they really want, because you can't tell it's blood because it's all black and white. It looks pretty good though, it looks fun. Uh, it looks classic, which I like. I like classic. I like classic. You know I say that by I watched the Wolfman not too long ago, maybe a few years ago. Uh, and that has not aged well, like just straight up. I mean, it looks great still. Um, and the ma makeup effects are really good, but like all the characters suck. Like, but Dracula has aged well. Nosferatu, the original has aged very well. That's still a creepy ass movie. Um, but the original Wolfman, not really. Like I, I wasn't, no, I mean, none of these movies really scare me. Like the old universal monster movies. Uh, they don't scare me at all. Like I, I was watching Frankenstein go to, you know, but uh, I feel like those all hold up except Wolfman. I think the main character is not likable. I, uh, I think most of the characters are lame. I think the acting's not very good. Um, but again, the visuals are nice. The cinematography is great. The spooky setting is cool. I mean, it's not scary, but it's cool. Um, but uh, yeah, I think uh, of all the classic monster movies, Universal monster movies, I think that one was the the one that's the weakest. I think. To me uh the remake is not very good either but at least i could turn my brain off and watch that one and go hey blood <laughs> go watch benicio del toro like mumble throughout it <laughs> i mean to be fair the original character is way worse because he's, he's not mumbling he's like really loud because that's like old acting where they're all talk talk pretty like hey like very stagey almost um because you know movies were still newish back then um but uh i don't know anyway there you go. i i know nobody and who watches the mcu gives a shit about old movies 
some people see black and white and they go icky gross so i'm sure this is not going to do all that amazing just because of that um no i think it will do well actually i think just because of its its weirdness factor <coughs> that it is black and white i mean wandavision for a little while was black and white um and also because it's a horror thing and also it's short so it's get, it's gonna and it's on it's october also not just because it's a horror thing but because it's october and a horror thing i think it'll probably do well anyway i'm excited to watch it actually so there you go that's it hope you enjoy thank you till next time i'll see you guys later goodbye